I've never seen a machine as large as that tall neck frozen like that. Outlander, wait, wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. You're not the first to take an interest in it. I've made it myself. Your own design? Mm, yet you are not a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Bergren said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The demon's energy pulses from them, rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this demon was frenzying machines. Look there, those with the purple markings, they belong to the demon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Soraya wants to hear right now. If it isn't yours, I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. 
But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Now we know how to deal with the machines in the towers. The daemon's next. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the Shaman's Path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. But you might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Araya's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the Chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the Blue Light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though. So she bid me wait. When Aurea and the Chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. This must be the ruin Laolai was talking about. Deep in. Flooded too, like she said. Snap moss. Probably came from somewhere up river. Follow the river, find its source. Seems simple enough.
Those mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere above. Somebody wanted in. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? And there's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. Another holographic interface. A piece is missing. No getting in here without it. The lock positions. Helpful. That Oseron must have forced us right through here. Made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... flood. So I push the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. 
I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from... Uh, wherever she'd gone to that time, I remember holding it, staring into its face. Seeing myself and... My mother, just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of a locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect! <laughs> my savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water? Quite by accident. And then you broke that button? Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. Finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Belden. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. Of course. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the plane. exactly where you need to go and no further. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Looks like I could jump across the net. Like any resting platform. Okay. <laughs> it's too strong. I can't swim against it. Less refreshing than it looks.
Nice jump. <laughs> nice. What am I saying? That was stupendous. I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks. I think. You're close, girl. Just spring across the gap. Ah, huh? you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. Could be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. If it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel. I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! It's 
dead. <laughs> Marvelous. So, the uh, ring. Maybe if you try its jaws open and reach inside, I can't look. <laughs> You're right. This thing did swallow the ring. <laughs> That's the old guilt and intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils! Oh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Do we have a look? Didn't you want to get into the storage room? I do. Fervently. For what we need to do, but, but well, I, I got time I to pump my nose in if you did. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Hmm. Anything my focus. All right. Time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but. This looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. That's not quite right. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. <laughs> no, indeed. Not old Gildan. There, we should do it. We should head back. Seems like you can't beat Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? The door's open. Guess it's sealed because of the flooding. This must go down to the lower level. Ugh. Stinks down here. Mm. Like that you smell bit. that? I should have Smells back like a gilded. forge side morning in a claim. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. I can't wait, I can't wait! <coughs> Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mum and I used to. There, girl. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. How are we going to need it? Where is it? Where did it go? Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I would... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. 
I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, no. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Ugh! By the great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Got too much already. Prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! <laughs> you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. <laughs> it's. Not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? <laughs> You're braver than me. Oh, there was no question of that. <laughs> Lower. I'm going by that sound. I think Lala is already at the den. <laughs> <laughs> 